But going back to the struggle, you said, you know, we struggled for a bit. We shouldn't have, we shouldn't be here. We shouldn't have made it. What was the biggest takeaway during that struggle that you learned? Yeah. I mean, I think um, there's an inherent issue with capital, right? Like uh cart and horse situation of like, all right, what's your runway in terms of how much cash you have? Um, and then how do you get, like, how do you scale appropriately as new revenue comes in? Right. Um, I mean, this, this is an issue for everyone that runs a business, yeah. um, you know, but when you're like, we were kind of quasi bootstrap, like I had investors, but it wasn't like a VC play, right. There wasn't tons of cash coming in. So, yeah, I mean, it was just, it's a matter of like figuring out. And then also during that time, figuring out what products people want. Cause there is like a cart and horse issue where it's like, I needed a certain amount of inventory, people, employees, things that I can sell, right. To then go sell. But then I needed that revenue from the sales to equip those people. And so I think the biggest thing is like, don't, um, don't let your eyes fool you, like make you, uh, feel like you're more hungry than you actually are. I think that's what we did early on. There was a point, like right now we have 65 people on staff. And uh, there was a point in like 2014 when I was doing a quarter of the revenue where we had, I think, 50 people on staff, wow. right? It was yeah, just, it's just tight. like, it's just a mix. It's, it's yeah. like we were scaling up, kind of like faking it till we made it on that side kind of thing. Um, and I think there's a lot of people that do that. It's like, you know, I'm starting a business. Let me, you know, get all of the best stuff, get like scale to what I think we're going to be. It's like, no, like start slow and perfect as you go. Like we didn't even know what type of customers we really wanted to focus on. When I look back, like we had customers that were spending um, three, $400 a month with us. What we've realized over time is with our particular model, that doesn't work because everything is um, fully managed services, right? So I'd have a fully managed customer one customer spending 40 grand a month another spending 400 dollars a month that doesn't make sense right yeah. so we went after that real premium market which allowed us to do like way more revenue with less heads um makes sense. But, but that that was like we didn't even know that was a thing at that time because it like time wise this is where again content you're going to an agency or you're going to a self-service model self-service model they'll serve you if you have 50 bucks right um and so it was trying to figure out like, who is this target market for us? Um, and then, yeah, like, how do you sell into that and make sure you're not spending too much money scaling too fast? Yeah, no, I love that. I, I think it's interesting because you, in order to be in that, um, what you're saying is you can't really get ahead of yourself, but you have to perfect as you go, which I really like because I know there's a lot of people that won't take that first step of like, well, I have to know everything before I do something because I think there's a balance there and you've kind of alluded to it that you have to go in and then you almost, you can fake it till you make it, but you're learning, like you're learning on the fly, but then you're not uh, growing past the pace that that is uh, healthy, I guess is the right way to put it. Yeah, I think it's having um, enough humility and this is, I think hard today, right? Like with this grind set, like uh, yeah. everybody's winning kind of mentality. It's like having the humility to be like, oh, we did this and it failed. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Cause that's the only way to learn really is failing, doing it and failing. People can tell you like, oh, read a business book. I can tell you stuff. It's like, no, do it, fail. And then it fails, throw it away and do the next thing. You know what I mean? But I think a lot of business people are just like, well, I've invested all of this into this basket. It has to work, right? And so there's like this history with us of like just very transparent failing of like we failed, boom, throw it away. We failed. All right, do the next thing. We failed. All right, try the next thing. You know what I mean? And just moving really quickly through that and kind of embracing because it's not chaos, right? It's structured chaos in a way and just building on the wins, right? So when you're when something yeah. does work out, you build on that and then you just but you're willing, like open and honest, like, hey, we are going to try this if it doesn't work it's fine. Right. That's what we're here. We're here to figure out new things. We can throw that away and it doesn't like necessarily, um, you know, define us as a company or as an individual. I, I think that's really hard to separate that ego for a lot of yeah. business owners. 